a crime was committed and we want to find out who did it. We have two suspects. A strand of hair was found near the crime scene. We will use gel electrophoresis to determine the criminal. The strand of hair is placed into a test tube, that is placed into the PCR machine. A polymerase chain reaction, or PCR for short, is a technique that works like a molecular copy machine. The sample is heated in order to separate the DNA strands. The sample is cooled in order for the primers to anneal or attach. The process is repeated until a usable amount of DNA is created. are created in the gel that serves as a reservoir to hold the DNA solution. Mixtures of different sizes of DNA fragments are loaded into a well in the gel. The force needed to draw the DNA through the gel is provided by electricity. A power supply takes the standard alternating current electricity available from the wall outlet and converts it into the one-way, direct current needed to set up an electrical field across the gel. The gel box is the container that holds the gel submerged in running buffer. It is designed so that when current is applied through the electrodes attached to the box, the current flows through the gel creating the electrical field needed to push the negatively charged DNA molecules towards the positive electrode. Results are usually photographed in order to save the findings. Wells are then compared together for similarities. If two fingerprints match they are probably from the same DNA source.